No, look at all of this Encanto stuff. <laughs> like, oh, I like this one. Here's a add water <gasps> and stir. Oh lady my gosh. gosh. <laughs> Whoa, Lady Dragon, what's this? I haven't seen her before. Hey everyone, it is Friday, January 27th, 2023. It's been a crazy couple of weeks of winter weather, but we have a day where we're out and about, and Ben had the idea of going to the Bin store. Yes. This is a place we've never been before. It's called no. Buck Luck the Bin store, where every day of the week, everything in the store is like a certain price. Today is not a good day to get like super cheap stuff, <laughs> but everything today on Friday would be $7 in the store. We've never yeah. done this before. We've seen other YouTubers do similar stuff in similar stores. But we didn't think there was any of these in Maine. We have no so, idea what to expect. It could be yeah. underwhelming. It could be a hidden gem. Who knows? We tried to go to Goodwill and the parking lot looked too crowded. So it's like, all right, well, let's let's check out this place for starters. What do you think? I mean, we've got to at least see what it's like, right? Then the destination is on your right. Okay, here we are. Big banner on the side of the building. Quite a few cars in the parking lot. Oh, it's a small building. Yeah, it's very small. The destination is on your right. Buck Luck the bin store. Buck Luck. Are, are we going to find a parking All spot? Right. There you can see on the side of the building, Friday, $7. Okay, so I have to say I was a little disappointed with this bin store. I was really excited to go to one of these because I've seen other YouTubers do it and it looks like so much fun. But um, we just found a lot of like the knockoff things and everything. And considering it was a $7 day, there wasn't really anything that I wanted to spend $7 on. I mean, I could, probably could find something if I had to. But there wasn't anything jumping out at me to be like, oh, you need this. That's such a good deal. You know, like if it was a $2 day, maybe. John said that he was having a hard time finding anything he would pick up, even if it was at the bins where you paid per pound. <laughs> so anyway, I think we're going to try to go again some other day and see if maybe we just had bad luck. I don't know. But uh, we're a little disappointed. Maybe the YouTubers just hype it up too much when they're in big cities and we're in like small towns. So I don't know. I don't know, have you guys ever gone to one of these bin stores and what was your experience? I want to hear what it's like in other areas. So here we are, January 27th, 2023, long after Christmas. We wanted to see if the Toys R Us and Macy's was still there or if it was just a promotion, but I see in the window already that they're still hyping Toys R Us and Macy's. So what do you think? Gotta still be here, right? All right, here we are. I'm thinking they're probably not actively restocking this. It's probably going to be stuck like this for another year or so. <laughs> Bin bought this uh, axolotl for Tegan, not here at Macy's, but at like a Go Calendar. It was on yeah. sale. We couldn't resist. <laughs> Go Calendar brand. <laughs> Here's some like adorable like little scenes. Oh I, yeah, I like this. They have a. Uh... A Steamboat Willie one. This one. Let me take them all out. Oh, this one. This one should be it. How, how can you tell? Um, that code. Right there. 108. How did you just have that memorized? Because I saw Chad find oh, one. Oh, okay. It's 108. Okay. There was Steamboat Willie. So if it's not, it's Chad's fault. Okay. <laughs> So John just scanned this, and it's eight twenty-four. I don't know how good a price that is for adorable. I don't know. We can look it up. And <laughs> see what it is everywhere else. They're seven ninety-nine at Walmart. Okay, I guess. Uh, I guess we'll put it back for now. <laughs> when when we hit here originally, it must have been when it was fairly new. Seems a bit more disheveled now. <laughs> Yeah, well, it was right before Christmas. Yeah, little My Little Ponies like, put in different corners all over the place. Yeah, before it was like a whole yeah. thing of it right here. 
Look at this miraculous stuff. Look, she's in her marinette outfit. But then you can change her into Ladybug, even the earrings, because see, she's wearing black earrings. Okay. And down here, there are the Ladybug earrings. Very nice. That is so cool. <laughs> now over here is a clearance table. 80% off all this Raya stuff. What? Like this big Raya and Sisu is eight ninety six. Whoa. This side, the clearance isn't as good. Only 20% off. But okay. Like this set of minifigures, five fifty six. They got these... These are a dollar, a dollar six. Oh. Did I think you opened some of these? Didn't no, you? I don't have any little Raya dolls. Yeah, these are like those fashion princesses from ages ago. Yeah, I don't have any that are Raya. Actually, I don't have much Raya stuff at all. Dis Disney. Oh, 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 oh. Disney sidekicks. So what is this exactly? The villains have teamed up and captured your favorite Disney heroes. And they have plenty of tricks up their sleeves to help them defend the castle where the heroes are locked up. As crafty and courageous Disney sidekicks, you work together to rescue the heroes and defeat at least one of the villains. Look at, I mean, they're like little play sets. Like they have... They have the outdoors here. They are adorable. This Harry Potter section seems to be the most well stocked out yeah. of anything. So I just kind of rearranged the Harry Potter set, like, section of our collectible room. So now I'm like drawn over here. I'm like, I have room <laughs> on the shelf to get Harry Potter stuff. <laughs> I hate, to, I hate to say expensive. it, but the. This section is kind of in the condition I was kind of post Christmas condition. Yeah. I was expecting. Look there, yeah. like this is Macy's, and look there, abandoned cups. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And like things are just everywhere, every which way. <laughs> yeah, things are just anywhere. Like this is the Sonic end cap, and there's like Bratz and Superman <laughs> and Yoshi. We were at Target. I missed the intro because we were busy throwing stuff away, but we're here at Target. See what we can find. The zombies, they have them here. I've never seen them in a store. When we covered these, we got them off from Amazon. But they have zombies here at Target now. I love these. This is a litter three of Meows. Oh, whoa. It's the only one that was in this box here. Oh. So I'm not sure. You could tell who it is because you could see in the ears. So I was looking at all of this awesome Encanto stuff, like the Mirabelle Room play set and Luis with the donkey and all these. And then John goes, they have the Mare stream, <laughs> which we've been watching this on Amazon. I just haven't bought it yet. It's surprisingly small for the uh, price. <laughs> yeah, it is a lot smaller than I was expecting. Though I don't know why I was expecting it to be bigger when we know it's the mini world magic. Everything else is stuff that's just been here forever, like mm -hmm. the five pack and the minifigures. Yeah. But on a side note, look at all of this Encanto stuff. <laughs> like, oh, I like this one. Here's a add water <gasps> and stir. Oh lady my gosh! Dish. <laughs> Whoa, Lady Dragon, what's this? I haven't seen her before. There's like three of her. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at these Wakanda Forever dolls. Look at these really cute lightsaber squads. Look, they have a little Yoda, or is that Grogu? I don't know. They have Mandalorian. They have Ahsoka. Oh, she broke. Look at her. That's so cool. I love it. Cool. Look at this Tiana. She's tall. She's awesome. 32 inches tall and poseable. And she's on sale for $21. Normally $70. That is uh, pretty, pretty tempting. I'm so tempted to get her. She would be perfect. We don't have a cart though and your arms are like full already. 
I know, but she's amazing. Her hair's a little messed up there. Yeah. This, this one, one looks like she's in good shape. Looks like there might be one more back there. Which one do you think is in the best shape? I kind of like this first one, I think. Because we'd probably take her out of the box, right? Or would we leave her I in the box? I don't know. I mean, the box, I think, is fine in all of them. Probably the one in the back looks the best as far as box and doll. So I, I guess we might have to go get a cart. I mean, this would just be a display piece. Yeah. I mean, but look how awesome I, she I is. I know. That's like the price of just a normal fashion doll. I know. I'm in heaven today. <laughs> I know. You're having really good luck. We should have come here first. <laughs> well, good news. We found Ben a cart. And now we are down the aisle of randomness. Yeah, I don't know if this is clearance or just stuff they haven't put away yet. It looks like some of it has uh, clearance tags. Of course, this could be just the island of misfits that no, yeah. after they price checked, just throw on the shelf. Oh, like one of the retro style yeah. Dick Skellingtons. What does he ring up as while we're here? He's a $17.99. Holy moly. All right, so we're just price checking Tiana to make double sure. Holy moly, that's accurate. I saw that, but I wasn't exactly sure what it was all about. It's an advent calendar. Oh. 24 days of surprises. Oh, I get it, okay. And the albums, see right here? All the pictures are the days that you open. Okay. Yeah. I see something miraculous right there oh. with a clearance sticker on it. Oh, it's oh, you have that one. Right? No, I don't have that one. I found one of these miraculous ladybug magic heroes Marinette transformation surprise. It's like one of those Barbie ones that you put water in and then you don't know what you're going to get. So you're going to get the one with where she's using tricks, fluff, or tiki. So you get to see what Kwame accessories you get. This is mystery bag number two. We have Marinette using tricks. You can see the difference. Look how awesome the separate mask looks compared to the painted on one. But the ears on Rena Rouge are way more detailed than these ones, but that's okay. And Rena Rouge has articulation. I love it. I hope you liked my opening and reveal of the Miraculous Ladybug doll. That's all for today. Aw, oh, man.